In this video, we'll be discussing the methods of colistin testing in accordance with the CLSI M100 document of 2022. The only recommended methods of colistin testing are the broth microdilution, broth disc elution test and agar dilution test. Unapproved methods are however disc diffusion, e-test or automated AST results. The first method that we will be discussing is the broth disc elution test. You need three requirements. The first requirement is a cation adjusted Muller Hinton broth, 10 ml taken in four tubes labeled as tube 1, 2, 3, and 4. The next requirement for this test are colistin discs, 10 microgram colistin sulfate disc. You need seven discs for testing one single isolate. The third requirement is a freshly prepared colony taken uh, three to five colonies which have been taken from a non-selective agar and you prepare the inoculum. This is how the inoculum is prepared. You take three to five colonies from a freshly uh, available subcultured isolate on a non-selective media emulsify in four to five ml of sterile saline shake well to get a uniform turbidity and adjust it to a turbidity of 0.5 mcfarland let us start the procedure for each isolate you will require a set of four tubes of cation adjusted mullein broth label the tubes as growth control 1 microgram, 2 microgram and 4 microgram. So for each isolate you require 4 tubes. Next we set up the disc. The growth control should not contain any disc. The first tube or the tube which is labeled as 1 microgram per ml you should Place one colistin disc in a sterile manner. Shake well. Add two discs of colistin sulfate into the tube which is labeled as 2 microgram per ml. And finally, into the last tube which is labeled as 4 microgram per ml you will have to add the remaining four discs so you have totally added seven discs one disc into the second tube two discs into the third tube four discs into the fourth tube and no disc in the growth control tube after adding the discs briefly vortex all the tubes so that the uh, drug will elute from the disc into the media. The last step in the procedure is addition of the inoculum. So uh, you take 50 microliter of the prepared inoculum and add it into all the tubes including the growth control tube 50 microliter each into tube 1 tube 2 tube 3 and tube 4 make a subculture from the growth control tube to check for sterility and incubate it for 24 hours after incubation, examine the growth control plate for purity of the isolate. Next, examine the growth control tubes and the other tubes to read for the minimum inhibitory concentration values. So this is isolate 1 where you see that the growth control is satisfactory. 
and there is growth in uh, no growth in all the other tubes which means that the uh, tube containing 1 microgram per ml of colistin has inhibited the isolate the second isolate we have a satisfactory growth control and there is no turbidity in the other tubes which again means that the MIC of this isolate is less than or equal to 1 because in 1 microgram there is complete inhibition. This is the third isolate where you see that there is growth in tube 2 and 3 whereas the fourth tube has completely inhibited the isolate. So your growth control is satisfactory. You have turbidity in 1 microgram and 2 microgram. There is no turbidity in 4 microgram. The MIC value is 4 microgram per ml. The isolate is resistant.